no matter how good you are at selling insurance over the phone, there will be plenty of prospects that you talk to that you just won't be able to close in the first call. So the purpose of this video is to show you how to close these prospects in the follow-up call. Now, right below this video, you can download the script that I'm about to show you here in just a moment. So first thing to keep in mind is if a prospect says, call me back in a few days, don't just leave it at that. Don't just say, sure, I'll call you in a few days. That's what amateurs do. A true sales professional operates by their calendar. So you would say first, try to see if you can connect with them the next business day. You say, how about tomorrow? Does Tuesday around this time work? And what if the prospect says, sure, yeah, tomorrow actually works better. Boom, you just move the appointments one day sooner. Okay, uh, how does three o'clock sound? Great, you lock in at three o'clock and here's the important detail that you don't wanna miss. You want to tell your prospect, I'm gonna send you a text message and a calendar invite to confirm our appointment tomorrow at three o'clock. Does that work? Perfect. So now they're looking at you as a trained sales professional who operates by calendar. You get off the phone with them, you create a Google calendar event, Outlook calendar event, whatever calendar system you use, and you invite them to that event. Secondly, you want to send them this text message that you see here on the screen at the top of this page. It would say the following. Hey John, this is Vlad Trichenko with Farmers Insurance. I'm looking forward to reconnecting with you tomorrow, Tuesday, at 3 p.m. to go over the insurance that we discussed. If you'd like to connect sooner, you can call me back at this number that I'm texting you from. I'm looking forward to working with you soon. And that's it. So you send them that text message. Now they have your phone number saved. They have your contact information. Now, the following morning, this is an important detail. I always encourage you to send out a text reminder in the morning telling them that, hey, we're going to connect at three o'clock. And this detail is very important. If you're scheduled to follow up with them at three o'clock, don't call them at 301 or 305, call them precisely at three o'clock. What I do every morning is when I show up, I look at all my events that I have scheduled, all my calls, and then I tell Siri to schedule an alarm 10 minutes before the meeting is supposed to occur. So if I have a meeting at three o'clock at 2.50, my alarm goes off. So if I'm away from my workstation, I'm going to be notified that, hey, you have a call in 10 minutes and I can go and prepare for that call. And you ought to do the same thing so that you show up at the time that you tell your prospects that you will. Now, when you call them at exactly the time that you scheduled, don't start off by saying, hey, would you like to move forward? But instead, give it a, when do you want to move forward? So here's what that would sound like. You would say, hey, John, this is Vlad with Farmers Insurance. How are you? Good, good. Uh, all right, John, I'm following up on the insurance quote that we discussed yesterday, and I wanted to let you know that I have everything on my end to get your policy started. So you're reassuring them that you're ready to go. You're at the finish line. And then you say, I just need to know what works best for you. So you're putting the ball in their court. Well, uh, would you like to get that started now or wait till the 15th of this month, the day that you normally pay your bill. You want to start that now? Perfect. Uh, what credit card would you like to use for your first month's payment? Visa or MasterCard? You collect their payment information, you start the policy. Notice how simple this is. We're not calling and re-quoting them. We have everything in the system. We have good notes. We know that we're supposed to follow up at this time. If you just implement this follow-up strategy with all the people that are closable leads, your close rate will increase substantially because a lot of insurance agents and producers are good at just handling the really hot leads, people who wanna move forward right away, but they neglect these type of leads, people who just need one more call before they move forward. So if you have leads in your database that are one phone call away, I highly encourage you to follow up with them using this script when you call them, this follow-up uh, phone call script at the bottom of this page. And you'll be amazed by how simple this process truly is when you use it on the phone. So before you do that with any script, it's good to read it a few times just so you feel comfortable with it, but use it exactly as it's written. If you want to download the PDF that I'm showing you here on the screen, click the link below this video and you'll be able to do so. All right, I'll see you very soon. Take care, bye-bye.